Hello, so just a quick video here to talk about integrating UMA and Inventory Pro, two assets that are so begging to be used together, it's unbelievable, but bizarrely, um, for quite some time now, they haven't actually worked. If we have a little look in Inventory Pro's menu, and in the int integration section, if we just pull this down, you'll see originally um, there was an integration here for UMA 2. This, if you try it, doesn't work. So we're going to leave that alone. And instead of using that, I would like you to import the file that is in the description of this video. And that should give you this little folder here, this UMA 27 folder. And inside there's just a couple of scripts that define a new type of object. Okay. So, um, to get started, where I'm at, I've imported Inventory Pro and I've followed the very first uh, tutorial to get me to a scene where I've got a, a capsule player and I've got an object in the scene. I've also imported UMA 2.7. Okay, so if I run at the moment, just so you know what we're looking at. Okay, there we are. I've got an object I can pick up. I have an inventory and I have a character screen which is fabulous okay so let's get cracking with this we'll stop and first thing let's just show a bit more real estate here let's get rid of this capsule player we don't want that we want an Uma in here so as you should know if you're used to Uma um, I need to put my DCS prefab in here just so that my Umas can be generated now I'm going to create an empty game object and call this, um, let's call this Uma player. Okay. And to actually make this into an Uma character after I've reset his position, let's um, add a dynamic character avatar. Okay. Once that's done, let's pick our active race. I'm going to pick human male DCS. Um, and I'm just going to go into this race animation controllers and pick the default animation as a locomotion. I'm just doing that so my character doesn't look quite so static. So if I press play now, there we go. I've got an Uma character in the scene, uh, but obviously we can't pick anything up because we haven't got any inventory pro stuff attached to him. So uh, yeah, let's fix that. So I'm going to go down here, add another component. This time from the Inventory Pro menu, uh, Player, and there we go, Inventory Player. Um, once upon a time, this was a special UMA version, but we don't need to mess about with that now. Just a normal Inventory Player. Um, I'm going to set it up just as I normally would, so put a default equipment handler on there. I'm going to pick the character UI from the screen. I'm going to add two Inventory items, because if you followed the tutorial that's what you'll have done on there so now we should be back to a position where if I run I can now pick items up and I have my inventories and character screen available great okay so now we need to work on getting some Uma clothing working with this system so uh, let's go into the main editor for inventory pro um, first thing I'm going to do I'm going to go into my equipment editor and create an equipment type so this one I'm going to call we'll call this Uma chest obviously you'd make different types for different slots on the body hit enter and again nothing special about this I'm just picking the standard equipment handler there we go so we've created that type if we head over into the items editor and create a new item um, you'll notice we now have this UMA 27 equipable entry uh, inventory item. This is what our little scripts have added. So I'm going to create one of those exactly the same as any other item. Okay, so I've not got much uh, real estate on this laptop, so bear with me if a few things are cut off. But I'm going to create something here called um, Top. And as an icon, let's have a little look. We'll pick something. Um, hmm, that will do for now so we'll have that we now have an icon um, the big change I've got here is in this equipped item area just before I fiddle with that I'm just going to go down and do this bit which I always forget which is adding rarities and categories 
So I'll just pick its common rarity and it is, oh, no, I didn't want that. Um, it is a clothing item. Okay, always forget those and then I get errors being thrown. So let's go back up here and see what, uh, what we've added. All we need to do here is select what body area that needs to go on. So there's our Uma chest category that we created. And now we can actually add our wardrobe recipe for our Uma. If we hit add, um, it wants a wardrobe recipe. And I've got a little warning here. What you should put in here is you should have an entry for every playable race your character could possibly be. This is so if we pick up um, this top for instance if we're a male we have a wardrobe recipe or if we're a female we have a wardrobe recipe so let's do that now if we go into Uma um, into content into the examples that's the Uma examples um, let's dig into the male one recipes wardrobe recipes okay and let's find something like there we are male shirt one we'll pop that in there okay I'm going to add another entry so this one is going to be for our female character so go back up here let's collapse the male one and dig down the same way into that female hierarchy there we are let's find a female shirt one there we are um, there's no need to actually tell inventory pro um, what race we're trying to attach these to this is all handled in Uma's wardrobe recipe so this should just work perfectly out of the box so that's great. Um, if we do run this now, it won't work because we need to set a few things up in the actual inventory itself. So let's quickly open the canvas up. First thing, let's find the character window. And in here, if we just drop down, the character window itself has got a filter on here. It has a restriction that will only allow equipable inventory items to be placed in it. Um, I'm gonna add a new category here and set that to my new let's just open this up a little bit my new Uma 27 equipable items okay so that's the first step the next one is we need to tell the actual torso slot which is in main page container where are we there's the torso slot we need to tell that at the minute it's only accepting things that are classified as body that's no good we'll change that to our Uma chest equipment type and that's it so there's nothing there that's unusual at all in the way that Inventory Pro works. So hopefully, watch this prove me wrong, hopefully when I press play, we get no errors, but of course, I forgot to actually put the item into the scene. So let's find it. Um, I actually put my items in here. So my test items, there we are. Item top, I'll pop that in the scene just lift it up so it doesn't fall through we'll try again okay so we should be able to pick that up let's open up our inventory and our character screen I just move that way so we can see what happens if I right click to put that on we can see the outfit actually appears right click to take it off and it disappears very quickly just to prove the point let's flick back in here uh, find our player and scroll up and change the human male to human female let's hit play again let's pick up the same item again let's bring the inventory and the character screen up when we right click she gets her wardrobe outfit so all pretty painless uh, hopefully that will get you going thank you for watching so I'd just like to say a big thank you to all of my patrons. These are the people who made this video possible. And if you'd like to support me, please click the link that appears at the end of this video. I'll see you next time.